crazy thing to do Just to stand and look at you That's amore Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm inviting you to join me as we take a look at how Las Vegas music started, has changed over the years, and where it's most likely to be headed. This video is the first in a series I'm calling The History of Music in Las Vegas. Catchy, huh? Sarcasm self-test complete. This video will cover the 1940s, and each subsequent video in the series will cover another decade leading up to modern day by the time we're done. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you click down there and uh, ring the bell so you'll be notified when new videos get posted. Without further ado, let's do some time traveling. <laughs> Where music in Vegas came from, it helps to know where Las Vegas itself came from. Before anything else, live music did what everyone else does when they come to town. They hit the casinos. But where did casinos come from, you ask? Well, in 1638, the Casino di Venezia, the first known casino in the world, opened in Venice, Italy. Coincidentally, this also happened to be the same year that Puritans in Massachusetts would pass America's first law against gaming. By 1771, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Virginia, and Rhode Island were all trying to stop gaming and other idle activities that would lead to fraud and the corruption of youth. Just five years later, the American Revolutionary War would be financed in part by the sale of lottery tickets thanks to a $5 million lottery organized by the Continental Congress. Despite this patriotic moment, gambling would see more and more resentment from governing bodies across the land, and Nevada wouldn't have legal gambling until 1869 before getting banned again in 1910. Three years later, Nevada would legalize open gambling, but not commercial gambling. Finally, the Wide Open Gambling Bill made commercial gambling legal in Nevada in 1931. The first major casino in Nevada was the El Rancho, built by Thomas Hall. In 1945, Nevada passed the Gaming Revenue Tax, and this eventually led to the first major lounge act opening under the name the Mary Kay Trio at the Last Frontier Casino. This would be the first live music in Las Vegas. The Mary Kay Trio would go on to play in many of the new hotels, helping venues keep patrons in their establishments a little longer and a little more inebriated, thus starting a tradition of helping people forget that they've spent way too much money and time to come to a desert where they get to spend even more money before going back home with little to no money. Ah, Vegas. Look at that sucker. Now that the foundations of Las Vegas and entertainment have been laid, we can move on in the next video to the 1950s, where things start to get swinging. Hope you'll join me next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and that we'll see you in the next video in the series. In the meantime, if you'd like to support the channel, there's some links down in the uh, description. It would really help out. Uh, remember, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please click down here, and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified when new videos get posted. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time in Room 6.